But it still seems ridiculous. More ridiculous than, say, me trying to build a lightning rod, which actually, conveniently, is the next project I'm going to do now, because today is build ridiculous thing day. I've already got a super condensator, that just means I need four highly advanced machine blocks. No! Oh my god. Oh. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay, highly advanced machine block recipe just changed. It's not titanium and chrome anymore. It's chrome plates and titanium plates. Which means... Which means, why would you just add another step, Greg Tech? What's the point of this? Seriously. No, 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 really. Oh, uh, since everybody needs one, it costs you 32 per tick. Conveyor module's gonna take... Yeah, alright, let's, let's hop to it, I guess. Oh, wow, I thought I could get around the plate assembly machine. I thought it, you know, it was like, mm, I don't need this specifically, except for maybe the filing cap. No, it turns out, based on my looking at the highly advanced machine block recipe, that this is actually a very important block. Not only that, I think it's probably retconned a lot of older designs to specifically require it. Oh, that makes me feel so good about myself. Okay, I think I need two electronic circuits here, too. Ah, remember, boys and girls, if you want to very simply craft batteries and things, just get a project table and write up the recipe. It'll save you some time. There, conveyor module. Now, I think the compressor is just, like, a very simple recipe. They might have changed it, though. Haha. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's make some machine blocks. This is refined iron. Let's... Oh, goodness. You never know what's going to happen after they have these changes. Yep, okay. So I need, what was that, four electronic circuits now? Yeah. Okay, let's go grab some of that extra refined iron from the chest. Always have spares of everything, just in case. Or, like me, an induction furnace, which will make it really, really fast anyway. There we go. Slightly ridiculous crafty time. Wait, what do I need to do next? For the conveyor module, which I have already, I just simply need to take two compressors. Yep, okay. That's just going to take 12 stones. I was one short. <laughs> That's fine, guys. Let me know what you guys think about all this, uh, what you feel about, uh, bibliocraft and putting items on, on thingies. I, I think it's a big deal, honestly. I'm a bit crazy about that, but... Okay, I think I just need two pistons, don't I? Four pistons, my bad. Oh, I was almost there. Okay. <sighs> step by step, this is going to take a while. <laughs> You'd think it would be simple just to get wood at this stage. Well, yeah, but I chucked it all, all the extra wood planks, that is. Right here. Come with me. Actually, I should bring these upstairs too. Somebody was saying in the comments, why are there like bees floating on your floor, Fwip? I'll tell you why, because I have a very inefficient bee setup. In my alvearies, there are always 63 valuable drones because they still have max fertility on them. My pipes are set up that any bees go into the blue pipe and any items go into the upper one. So when three bees go into a spot that only can hold one bee, the other bees just fly out on the floor. And I've tried putting a wood golem over there to pick up the extra bees and just chuck them into this, the gene pool, but uh, eventually that would fill up since I'm not using it. And guess what else? For some reason, my wood golem either keeps getting despawned or killed by something in that part of my base, or it used to, so I, I don't want to risk it anymore. I hate letting my golems die. I love my little golem buddies. Seriously, if they weren't so happy to live here... I would make them a golem sanctuary so that they would be happy somewhere, at least. But I know that they're very fond of working with me. They're like, uh, they're like my research assistants in a way. They, uh, they make this place a much better home to stay in, I tell ya. 
If I was going to move anywhere on the server, the golems would be coming with me. That or I'd let them. I would, I would leave my whole base to them, honestly. I'd let them take it over. They're already basically running it while I'm gone. There we go, a plate bending machine. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this is so silly. Why would you really need this block? Do I even have space for it in the array? Uh, well... Yes, right underneath the canning machine. Funny enough, it fits there perfectly. Good job making my job ridiculous. Now, I need four. Four of them, so I need 16 chrome ingots. Thankfully, that's just sitting around. And honestly, my industrial blast furnace is now powerful enough to eat a stack of titanium and not run out of power. That's what we're doing right now. We're grabbing a stack of titanium dust. And while we're at it, let's just centrifuge up, you know, some more platinum. So that's what I do. I'm the kind of guy that just lets his iridium plates work for him while he's gone. Titanium is very useful in the creation of advanced alloy. That's why I've got these two uh, rolling machines here. One is set to make advanced alloy all the time. As you can see, plenty of titanium to do so. The other one is set for uh, iridium ingots, just so that I don't need to input the recipe every time. Meanwhile, we can just... Did I grab the wrong amount? Because I shouldn't have extra iridium ingots, should I? Hmm. Well, I'll just chuck these on the ground and keep the other iridium ingots just in this chest, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, I had a few extras, I guess. Weird. Alright, well anyway... Burn up some titanium. Grab this aluminum out of here. I don't know why I have it. I just do. Let's see how the plate bending machine works. What does this mach What does that do? I suppose that means if I'm making two different plates, keep them separate. Is what I'm guessing that does. This does something if it has a redstone current. This tells it to move it in automatically. This is the recipe list. I don't care. It make me 16 chrome plates, please. That's all. What? Yes, yes, that's good. It's not taking two plates for every one. Good, you scared me for a minute. Actually, let's make sure that I don't need... That I can't just add 16 of these in there, too. Right? That would be pretty simple if I could. Let's see if the... Ah, darn it, come here. If I just put, like, titanium on the side while it's working, would it actually make titanium plates, too? No, it would have to finish the chrome before it hits the titanium. But it would still do it. Yes. Actually, that's where the conveyor module comes in. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, before I make myself really sad about this, did they change the recipe for the advanced... to the steel machine hull? Oh my god, they did. So now it's not steel ingots around a steel hull. <sighs> now you need... Either steel plates made in a rolling machine. No, now it's all made in that. Well, that's just dandy, isn't it? Okay, they've made a new machine to make things a little bit more complicated. This is a bit weird. Like, did anybody else first see this happening? If I need eight for it and I need four, that would mean 32 steel is going to need to be plate bended. Or put in the rolling machine, but that's lame. Alrighty then. I mean, these plates look very pretty, I suppose, But, what is this? Higher tier transformer upgrade. Assembling machine is how you get these things. Oh my goodness. So the assembling machine actually... Greg Tech Computer Cube, you're pretty good at telling me things, right? Do you actually have the recipes listed 
for these ridiculous things. I'd be very happy if you were added. I'm guessing you weren't because you're new. I mean, you've even got bauxite or an iridium explained, right? So, where on earth is the new stuff? Nope, it's not added yet. Sigh. I mean, you could. I mean, you're in Greg Tech too, aren't you? I mean, you don't explain the automatic wire mill. And all that does is save you time. Oh, well. And in fact, I'm not done yet. <laughs> now I need four of those machine parts. Talk about making tedious things more tedious. Where are my machine parts located? Wait. You get them from scrap boxes. You get... Oh! Aluminum plates and an electronic circuit will give you either three or refined... Yeah, refined iron will give you... F oh, that's different. You know what? This makes more sense, though. The other recipe for getting the machine parts, which was... What was it? Oh, no! No, no! Why are you now making these? Ah! Uh, no! 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 Failure! Failure on your part. That's not what I wanted. I can't backcraft, can I? No, I can't. Oh, darn it. Oh, no. I haven't used standard rails in ages. I don't need them. Oh, great. You win this time, Greg Tech. Making me waste resources for useless purposes. All right. All right. What do I even need? Refined iron in the plate assembler, please. There. Good. One electronic circuit, please. I gotta redo this. <laughs> this is a lot more tedious than I expected, okay? I. But what do you expect when it's Greg Tech, right? That's a bit of a running gag. So I put this here. Don't do things without my concern, please. Why isn't it doing anything? Recipes. Oh, it needs the assembler. Oh, I can't even get that far anymore. I need to build a new machine for that. Well, ugh, fine. Eat this, but don't take it again. All right, the assembly... Assembly machine needs three aluminum plates or three refined iron plates. Four circuits. Another conveyor module. Oh, God. You're just... You're just... Make... Okay. I gotta deal with this. I gotta, I gotta deal with it. There's no... There's no alternative. I can't just say, I don't like this. I, d I just gotta deal with it. Four circuits of piston in this thing. This thing, again... Thankfully, doesn't need them right now. Oh, my goodness. Feel free to get upset, guys, because I'd understand. I would understand. Do you know, this just makes me need, like, a ton of electronic circuits, which just means... Just means more rubber farming, to be honest, which is lame. Why would you ever really, really require someone to do the so? Un... Unappreciative. Yes, that's me, but come on. When you didn't have to go through these steps, and now you do, it just feels like it's either a waste of time. It's not interactive. It's just putting things together. Right? I need two more circuits. Great. They're just, they're just extra steps tacked on. My extractor's out of rubber. I have more rubber somewhere, please. Don't make me go that far back in time. There we go. You know what? 
I don't need all these planks anymore. This game is just making me chuck garbage onto my floor. That makes me feel good about myself, doesn't it? Sure, there you go. These are the steps that must be taken. Now, please say I don't need a machine to put the rubber on the wire yet. That would be the very last step. Ugh. I'm not joking. They could probably do that in the future if they've gone this far as to need an assembler and that other thing and this and that. Why not, hmm? And it does take one more piston, so I'm still not done yet. Okay. Come on, game. Don't have all day. Well, I guess technically I do, but I, I wouldn't appreciate it if you took all day. Okay, I believe it was four of these, three of these, and the conveyor in the middle, right? Yes. Now, this takes 32 of you per tick as well, so I, again, need to find a place in my machine array where this will go. Comfortably. Now that there is the cable. So technically, if I put it there, it would work. I'm thinking it would. Let's test it out. Uh, I need... How many plates do I need? What am I even doing anymore? I believe I still need a few more of these. Thirty-two steel plates. Okay, then I need to put them with the machine hull, but I can't get the machine hull because the machine hull... What's the machine hull? Right, I need... Oh, two more refined iron. Alright, I'm not wrong. I'm just... Dealing with how unintuitive this is. I It makes a bit of sense that you'd need a plate-bending machine, I suppose, but... And an assembler, okay? I'm just, I'm feeling the sad effect of, I used to have this, now I don't. Wait, recipes. Advanced circuit, parts of it. Oh my god, you changed it. Oh my god, no. You're serious. So, now, at least that's not expensive. That's almost the same thing. It's just, it'll take more time to create. You're telling me that the advanced circuit plan no longer works, right? Like you've disabled the advanced circuit? Is that what you're telling me? No, it's still in there. The recipe is still in there. It's just I can also assemble it by using a standard plate, which will cost me four electrum and one silicon, or one electronic circuit and two electrum plates, which is essentially the same. I don't see this as being cheaper right now. There, four random machine parts. That's all I needed now. Mix that with 32 steel, and it should make me my machine hulls. Okay. All things considered, this does make it feel a little bit more industrial, I suppose. And ta-da, my steel machine hull. But, again... Was this totally necessary to do? When you're used to something and it changes, nobody is ever happy about it. That's basically including me at this point. I mean, don't call me an, all, an old fogey or anything, but... Try to understand my perspective here. It, it went from simple crafting to needing two new machines, which also take their own time to create the basic components, when the advanced ones take ages already. I mean, if he disables the old advanced circuit recipe, 
Which would mean what? I save a bit on glowstone but need to wait 20 more seconds? That's not worth it. In Minecraft, you can get pretty much infinite resources, okay? Let's assume that for a minute. Then that means the real resource is time. So it's not actually cheaper, I don't think. Okay, anyway. I don't even know why I'm making a lightning rod right now. Because I can, I suppose. That was the project today. Was gonna randomly build some stuff, and apparently... Please say the... Oh my gosh! Please say they didn't... They did! They did! They took out the easy recipe for the energy flow circuit. You now need tungsten plates, an iridium plate, and... Okay. And the alternative recipe is a Lapatron crystal in the Elite circuit board. Lapatron is a bit expensive. Elite is an advanced circuit and a platinum plate. Well, Greg Tech, if this is you changing things, you've basically made the redstone and pulsing circuit shortcuts obsoleted. Thank you for that. Ah. Oh, goodness. Okay. All I need right now is four of them. So let's try and avoid the circuit recipes as much as we can, okay? Because I don't even know how the heck those are going to work. And I'm going to have to get used to it, too. So, one, two, three. Mm, not a rubber. Oh, God. Am I all out of rubber? I do use quite a bit of rubber for making my golems, but that's just not fair. Okay, grab a tool. There we... no. Tree tap, yes. Alrighty. See what I have to do here, guys? I've... it's been a while since I actually manually had to put in some trees. You know, this should be my next project. I should figure out a way to automate rubber. I don't even know if it can be done. I've never done it before, but... This is the hands-on type of thing that Whip Industries is, should be trying to uncreate. I mean, I've got a tree farm in case of necessity. I've even got torchberry farms for uselessness. But something like a rubber farm is basically the last step that would be necessary at this point. There we go. Every once in a while you find a tree that'll have two instead of one on them. I really like that. That saves me time. There we go. Farming rubber. By hand. This is literally what I do to get rubber, though. Ever since... I don't know. Ever since I started here, I've never even attempted to up that. And I totally, totally should next time. Alright. So, extracting... No, that's a generator. Centrifuge extractor, yes. Extract me some rubber. That's fine for now. I just need enough circuits. Just need enough circuits. Oh my god. This is slightly pathetic, actually. All the necessities of life here. Just exploding around my head. Okay. Put him in the crafting bench. Let's very calmly do this. I don't need to freak out. There we go. Advanced circuits. One, two, three, four. Very good. Now, this thing. Scrap box? Yeah, right. Four platinum plates. Four platinum plates are made with, yeah, shiny ingot. Or, of course, platinum dust. Okay, so smelt the dust. Put them together. <laughs> you know, I would be nicer about this and actually off-screen it if, uh, if, I hadn't, if I had done this before or if I had any sort of sympathy 
No. Now, if I gotta do it, you should have to sit through it, too. This isn't that much fun right now. This is like the level grinding aspect of an RPG. Did I ever mention that before? Yeah, it's not that fun. I love my electric furnace, though. Watch this. Boof! That's what I call fast. Alright. Let's bend this into some plates and then chuck it in the assembler. Ah, oh, my goodness. I can't see this as being faster than anything else, and especially because I don't think you can upgrade these to be faster. Like, I'd, I'd appreciate it if there was an upgrade by this point. A time one, especially for this machine. Okay. Platinum plates. Advanced circuits. There's not even a progress bar. I just want the advanced circuit. How long is it going to take? Got to make data orbs. That's what I'm going for. Energy flow circuit. It doesn't take that much EU per tick to make... What? If I want to make a Sonic Tron, it's going to take that, too? Oh, wow. Okay, that one makes sense. And this one, maybe. You need the assembling machine instead of the... Oh, wow. Wait, why would you want to backdate a lithium backpack back into... That'd be terrible. That looks terrible. Pneumatic generator upgrade. Oh, wow. Let's machines except MJ. Iron gear and generator. That is new. Of course, you would need the assembly machine to make it, so you still need EU. But this does mean you can move your base around, maybe. Wow, that's very different. What other recipe things are in here? RS energy cell. Okay, this is the mega jewel variant of the energy storage upgrade. I can re I can I can respect that. Attached to Greg Tech machines. Alrighty. You can revert it. Okay, that's fine. Please don't say that this is the simple method. And you can't just recraft a compass or a clock now. Okay, I know I can still do that one by hand, so maybe it's just this is an option for you. Ugh, more silly recipes. If you can do it by hand, I don't know why you would ever put it into an assembly machine. I'm more concerned about the ones you have to use it with, okay? To be honest. And that's how much time it took for one. It's not done yet. Can you believe this guy? It's not done yet. Oh my god. And I'm still gonna need... Lapatron crystals, four of them, and have that recipe changed. I don't know. Yes, it looks like I, again, I stored up all these gold chipsets because they were so cheap to use. That's the point, though. You'd save, you'd save circuits, you'd save gold, you'd save. You'd, you'd save basically everything, and now the only things that you can use with them is making AND gates, or OR gates. Wow, I feel really, really stupid now. Thank you. Okay? You took my shortcuts, and you threw them out the window. So does that mean my Lapatron crystal plan, which is sitting over here, no longer works? I'm very curious. Hmm. I mean, if I had uh, something in here, I would. It doesn't. I don't see a difference right now. Let's uh, let's actually fill it up. See what happens. Okay, I'm very curious. What happens when the recipe list for the project table goes out of sync? I'm sure I'm about to be very disappointed because it doesn't exist. I mean, the data should be there, right? 
The data should be there. Am I all out of lapis? I should be able to macerate like a few blocks back down into lapis, right? I mean, come on, it's lapis. It's gonna take a while, but I should be able to do this. Lapis lazuli? Yeah, okay, good. Thank you. Turns out that compressing all your lapis might not be the best option for you. Okay, so just to test this out. Because I'm a bit weirded out by these changes. I haven't really lost anything. Really, except I've got a lot more useless materials than I had before. Yeah, this no longer crafts anything. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Oh, that really makes me sad. No joke, guys. No joke. That means more circuits, more... Okay, you know what we're doing? <sighs> I was going to craft a lightning rod and put it in place today. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not yet. We're keeping these things in storage. Because next time, we're going to figure out how to build a rubber farm. Because this is going to take ages. It's the only thing to do. It's the only thing to do. Keep that there next to my super condensator. There we go. All right, in that case, I'll see you in the next episode, guys. <laughs> I am slightly annoyed, to be honest, at all these new changes. I'm sure I'll get used to them, but, you know, suddenly having three stacks of pulsating chipsets and gold chipsets, respectively, which uh, are now totally useless, make me feel very bad. Why did something just explode? I'm really hoping that explosion was, um, nothing down here. No, no, no. Okay, it would have to have been maybe just the bee fireworks some more, but I swear that sounded like a bigger explosion than, than I'm used to. Let's go check the lab really quickly. I mean, according to the fuel tank, the fuel tank is fine. I'm sure the water tank must be fine. I mean... This machine's fine. Everything down here looks okay. Yeah. Yeah. The implosion compressor didn't blow up or something, eh? No, everything's okay. Maybe it was just my imagination. Okay. All right. In that case, I'll, uh... I'll see you guys in the next episode when I can hopefully build some shortcuts to combat the new changes. Uh, and maybe figure out some cool things to do with uh, Bibliocraft. So thanks for watching, guys. This is Whip signing out. See you later.